how are you today? I'm good. How are you? All right, good. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Alexa. And how do you say your name? Is it Du Yen? No. My oh. uh, yes. My name is Tao. Tao. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, what what is this name here? What what is Du Yen? Uh, can you repeat? On your profile? On yeah. your profile, you have this name. Hold on, let me. Ah, I, I don't know this name. Oh, it's on your profile. That's so weird. Okay, so your name is Tao, like T A O? Yeah, T yeah, A O. Okay, but pronounced Tao. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> um, Where are you from? I am from the United States. Yes. But right now I'm living in Barcelona. Yes. I'm from Vietnam. Do you know Vietnam? I I'm do. Yes. Yeah, but I was going to say, I'm going to pull up a map really fast because I don't know Vietnam that well. What city do you live in? I live in Thái Nguyen. I can write it for you. Yeah, because I was just thinking, I'm not sure if I know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, mom, hold on. Um, so how old are you? Can I? Um, yes, I'm 17. Oh, you're 17. Okay, so does that mean, um, are you in high school or are you in university? I'm in high school. Ah, okay. Yes, yes. and I will. Awesome. Yes, and I will finish high school in next year. Next year in 2020? Yes. Oh, okay. So so what is your plan after high school? What do you want to do? Yes, I think I will go to university. Okay. Yes. But yes. what would you like to study in university? I mean, or maybe you don't know yet. You have time to figure it out. <laughs> yes. So I, I also want to learn English and math to become an English teacher. I want to become an English teacher. Really? Yes. That's really cool. Is um, English something you want to teach in Vietnam or do you want to, to move to a country and teach? I want to teach in Vietnam. Ah, okay. Yes. I want, um, to, I want to teach about pronunciation, so I want to improve my pronunciation. Ah, uh, okay, let me, hold on, I'm just going to type this into your public profile because it's actually really good yeah. um, information to have. Um, oh, wait, I don't know, never mind. You want, okay, so you want to improve your pronunciation, but... Um, but how did you get interested in English in the first place? Uh, can you repeat? How did you become interested in, in wanting to be an English teacher um, at the beginning? I mean, have you always wanted to be an English teacher or? I, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I I can't understand. Let me type it. How did you become interested? Let me rephrase it. How did you become interested in teaching English? Uh, how did I become interested in teaching English? Mm -hmm. I think I just like English. Oh. Yes, very, that's simple, very simple. You like English, you want to teach it. <laughs> I love English and I like teaching kids. Kids, okay. Yeah. Like, are you talking like young kids, like age three or four or yeah. older kids? Young, young kids, like you know, four. Oh, I love that age. Yeah. I have. I have some students that I teach English to that are at around age four or five, yeah. and they are so much fun because with the kids that age, they learn through play. So you literally just spend time playing with them. 
and they pick up the language so fast. Yes. So yeah. Besides, uh, because in Vietnam, the students study English not well. So I want to teach them. Okay, so you can say students don't study English well. Yes, students don't study English well. Mm -hmm. well yes. So in Vietnam, at what age do they teach English at school? At school, uh, in school, in school of Vietnam. Uh, the, the, the school don't have the English teacher, British teacher. School doesn't have an English teacher. Yes, oh. just have Vietnamese teacher. So, oh. yes, okay. so their pronunciation is not well. So the English you learn is from, um, is the from like, movies, TV shows, music. Yes, I watch movie and listen to music. Okay, so yeah. you like the English language, but what do you think about culture, like the English culture, either American or British? Are you interested in the cultures as well? I don't, I don't think about this problem before. <laughs> yeah. No, that's okay. It's just um, I have a lot of students who um, want to be English teachers because they love the language, but also because they just absolutely love the cultures. Yes. Um, normally, it's the United States. Nobody's really that excited about um, Britain, England, yeah. or anything. <laughs> I don't know why, um, but you've not thought about the culture yet. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, can I ask you some questions? Sure. Yes. So, what are your hobbies? What do you like to do on your free time? In my free time, I like to read. I read a lot. Yeah. Um, I'm currently living in Barcelona, so I go to the beach a lot. Um, I visit art museums and galleries, um, and I, I walk around the city a lot also. I do a lot of city walking because it's a beautiful city, and it's it's really easy to, to walk around. It's, it's small enough. You can walk from one side to the other, you know, in an afternoon. Yeah. So what about you? What are your hobbies? Okay. I like reading, too. Okay. Yes, and I and I like to sleeping, <laughs> sleeping. You like to sleep? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm adding that also. That's on my list. I love to sleep also. <laughs> I just like sleep because I'm a little lazy. Yes, me too. I'm in my pajamas <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay. okay. So what kinds of book do you like? What kinds of books? Yeah. Um, I like a variety of books. You know, I like, um, I studied art, so I read a lot of art books, but I also like to read fiction, like novels. Yeah. Um, before bed, I like to read novels, but I usually intersperse novels with reading something that can teach me something. So yeah. something for fun and pleasure, and that's really low key. And something where I feel like I'm like gaining knowledge yes. about something. So, so yeah. Okay. Could you suggest me some books because I want to improve my reading, reading skills? Oh, um, what kind of books do you like? I like the book about nature. Okay. Yes. And some detective books. Detective books. Yes, like Sherlock Holmes. I do love Sherlock Holmes. That yes. is a great, those are great stories. They are a little bit difficult to use in learning language in English because it's not common English anymore. They were written a long time ago. Um, I see because I, I have tried 
Yeah, it's difficult. Yes. I have um, all my books. I have a lot of books. Yes. Um, this is just like a very small percentage of my book collection. The rest of my books are in Seattle and like they could fill an entire wall. Um, I'm trying to think of a suggestion for you. The thing is, I don't know very many books about nature because that's not a topic I normally read about. Um, and books to read when you're learning a language are different than than books you would just read normally in your own language. So what I've heard is that um, the Harry Potter series, I don't know if you like, do you like Harry Potter? Yes. Yeah. I, yes. I I watch the film and I also read books. Good, good. Okay, so you're familiar. That's going to make it a lot easier. Yeah. Um, if you can read that series from book one, you know, all the way to the end in English, it's actually a great resource to learn English. There are, um, it's because the books were written for to grow up with children. So it's the first book uses really easy language for young children, age like 10, which is perfect for native, for non-natives. Yes. And then each book's vocabulary and, and you know, structure and theme gets um, more advanced, darker, you know, it's, yeah. so it, it grows, it goes up with your learning. Yes. Um, so try that. <laughs> Yes, I will try. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you like to cook? Yes, I do. Yes. I, but like we've already established, I'm a little bit lazy. And so when I don't want to cook, my boyfriend cooks. <laughs> yeah. um, but also, you know, this you might find this helpful. So I'm in Barcelona and one of, I'm learning Spanish. Yes. Um, and so I'm actually also using the Harry Potter series to teach myself Spanish. Yeah. Um, so I'm also reading a cookbook. Yes. In Spanish and teaching myself how to cook, you know, yeah. in a different language. So if you do you like to cook? Not sure. I think I don't like cook. Not very much. <laughs> yes. Um, if you ever do like to cook, if you get a book in English, it's very helpful because you can yeah. um, learn a lot of new cooking vocabulary. Yes. Um, do you live at home with your parents? Yes. I live at okay. home with my parents. So your mom um, and your dad do most of the cooking then? Yes. Uh, okay, that makes sense because you're 17. When I was 17, it was the same for me. My parents did all the cooking. <laughs> My mother usually cook, and I don't have to cook. You don't? Does your father cook? No, just no. My yes, just my no. my father cook not well, so <laughs> nobody nobody can eat. The thing that he cook, he cooks. Nobody can eat anything. Hold on, I'll type it for you. Nobody can eat anything that he. You can say that he cooks or yeah. that he. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um, both my parents are really great cooks, so wow. I was spoiled. I got good food all the time. <laughs> you are very lucky. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, do you have any other questions for me before we only have 40 seconds left? Yes, our time is running out. It's running out, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you think of my pronunciation? Yeah, your pronunciation is, is good. Um, I would say more than your pronunciation, focus on, on your grammar. Yes. And yes. specifically the use of the negatives, like doesn't and don't and not and where those go in the sentences. Yeah. Um, but yeah, your pronunciation is, is very good. Thank you. So no problem. I'm really happy to talk with you. Me too, Tao. It's nice to meet you. I'd like to see you again. Okay, have a nice day. Bye-bye.